how's it guys? My name is Lungi. I hope you guys have had a good start to your day. Welcome to today's Tuesday Truth. So we're going to be starting with a new series called Jesus in Real Life. We're going to be looking at some of the stories of Jesus from the Bible and how those stories can encourage us in whatever we may be going through. So I'm going to be starting with that today. Um, and my the title of my devotion today is Jesus is with me in the pain and anxiety. I want to start off by reading Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 41. Jesus calms the storm. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked him, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and waves obey him. Four years ago, someone in my life was going through an illness. It caused me a lot of fear and a lot of pain. I really felt scared and I felt powerless. And I remember turning to God, praying and just reading the Bible just to try and find uh, some kind of encouragement. And I remember God led me to this passage where Jesus calms the storm. So in this story, Jesus is in, in the boat with his disciples. And then um, in the middle of, of the night, um, in a lake, there's a hectic storm that hits them. And the winds are so hectic that the waves start breaking and the water starts filling the boat that they're in. And the disciples start to fear for their lives. They think they're going to drown. They think they're going to die. And remember that some of Jesus' disciples were actually fishermen. So they they would have experienced um, storms while in a boat. So this storm must have been really hectic for them to panic like this. But the funny thing is that through the throughout the whole storm, it says that Jesus is sleeping at the back of, of the boat. And it's like, how does that make any sense? You know, these guys are about to die. And Jesus, uh, who's meant to be protecting them, is chilling at their back or just like sleeping. And I don't know uh, about you, but maybe you may be experiencing a really hectic storm in your life right now. And it's causing you to feel really anxious. And you're just like, where is God in this? It feels like he's sleeping at the back of, of the boat, you know, he's sleeping throughout all of this. It may be similar to what I was going through. Maybe there's, you know, someone in your life that's going through an illness. It may be, you know, you're fearing for the future. It may be conflict with a loved one, whatever it may be you may just be asking yourself, where is God in this situation? Does he not care about us? The, the disciples say in verse um, 30, 38, don't you care that we are going to drown? 
But um, when I was looking for encouragement in this difficult situation, God really taught me two things from this passage that I could um, really hold on to. And I hope that these two things are encouraging to you as well. So the first thing that Jesus taught me through this passage was that it's okay for me to absolutely freak out. It's okay for me to feel worried. It's it's okay for me to feel anxious. It's okay for me to feel out of control because what I was going through was a big deal. But I needed to know that he was in the boat with me. I needed to know that he was in the boat with me, my savior, my protector, my provider. He's in the boat with me. And when I remembered that, it really brought me great comfort because I know that he loves me. I know that he loves me. And so I was like, yeah, like God is in this with me. The second thing that he taught me through this story was that he wasn't sleeping because he didn't care about the dangerous storm. He would have been feeling uh, the change of atmosphere while he was sleeping. He would have felt, um, you know, the the, the boat, um, you know, going through the hectic waves. But he wasn't sleeping because he didn't care about the storm. He was sleeping because they had had a hectic day that, that night so you know he was human so he was tired he was sleeping but the fact is that he knew that he had things under control he knew that he had things under control he knew that the storm wasn't going to um, bring any harm to them even though it was hectic and so I needed to trust that even through this difficult situation Jesus was in fact under control. He had it under control. And so, yeah, um, we need to trust that even when we don't see it. He is, um, he's got it under control. And so, yeah, I just feel like God wants to remind you today that wherever you are, whatever situation you may be feeling, Um, it's okay to freak out. It's okay to feel nervous and anxious and doubtful and maybe even depressed because you're human. But remember that the God that loves you is in the boat with you. And remember that he's got things under control and that things will work out for your good in the end. He will change the atmosphere. He will bring calm to your life. He wants you to remember that. Psalm 30 verse 5 says, weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Let's hold on to that promise. Um, if, If it's okay with you, I'd love to just say a quick prayer. Father, I just thank you for your encouragement uh, today with this with this verse that, uh, sorry, with this passage that um, you have things under control, Jesus. And I just pray for whatever situation that we may be facing that um, seems like our heads are going to go under the water, God, that we're going to drown. Um, I pray that you would remind us, give us the strength to believe, Jesus, that you have things under control and that in the end, all things will work out for our good. I pray that you would bring change soon, Jesus, that we would experience this rejoicing that you talk about in Psalm 30. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.